folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please consider subscribing. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell because you'll be notified when all the new videos come out. And hey, if you're a subscriber already, welcome back. I appreciate you watching. Listen, today what I'm going to talk about is fishing line, catfish line, line for catfish. You can use this line for anything. The line I use is used for saltwater fish. It's used for freshwater fish, big fish. We're going to talk about the line specifically towards catfish. Uh, I'm in a lot of the uh, catfishing Facebook groups online and uh, the question comes up at least once a week. What's the best catfish line? While there is no specific catfish line, there are some that have the name catfish whatever thrown onto them just to make it sound like they're just for catfish. But here's the deal, folks. Fishing line is fishing line is fishing line, sorta. It'll all catch fish, it'll all catch catfish. Now, you may go into a fight with a 90 pound fish under gun if you've got four pound mono on, or you may just be uh, not having any fun when you've got a 100 pound braid and you're catching two pound channel catfish. They all work. What I'm gonna talk about is what I use and why I use it. Uh, it doesn't mean that mine is the best, the only way, but I've been fishing for a long time, many, many years, and I've caught hundreds and hundreds, actually thousands and thousands of catfish. And what I do, the way I fish and the line I'm using, it works. Uh, it's consistent, and uh, I feel very confident telling you that you can go buy this line. I am not sponsored by any of the people uh, whose line I'm talking about today. Uh, none of these people have even sent me any free line. So this is 100% totally my own opinion and my own take on these products and these brands. So here we go. Now, if you've followed my channel for any amount of time, or if you've seen me online talking about fishing line, uh, the one that you've seen me talk about repeatedly is Andy. Uh, this is a fishing line that I use, uh, have used for a long, long time. Uh, I started out using just some of the generic, I say generic brands, the common brands out there like Berkeley and some of those and Trilene. They all worked fine. They all caught fish. Uh, but what I was looking for was something a little more consistent in the manu manufacturing process. Uh, a little less memory, basically so it's not all curled up and twisted up all tight. And something consistent in the breaking strength. Uh, I like knowing where something's going to fail uh, consistently. Uh, I've used other lines. I used Momoi uh, for a while. I have no problem using that line. Uh, I believe that is a Japanese made uh, monofilament and uh, it's a good line. Uh, if you can't get Andy, uh, I would say buy that. It's another good line. But the thing is with the Andy line, um, it's very consistent in its performance and its reliability. The one I originally started with, I've got some of the old spools over here. Uh, this is the IGFA Yellow. This is the one they used to make. Uh, this is one, this is a spool that dates back to 2012. Now, if you notice on some of these, um, I write the date on the line. I, um, I do that for a couple of reasons. One, I like to know how long a spool this size is going to last me running it through, uh, re-spooling the way I do. I don't re-spool, by the way, an entire reel when I re-spool it. I fill up probably half of the reel. I take a backing on there that's on there all the time. Uh, once I have break-offs and it gets down kind of low, I'll take it back down to where that knot is and put it on there. So I'm not re-spooling the entire line. But I actually kept count on here. Kind of gave me an idea of how long, how many uh, refills, re-spools I was getting. But I write the date. The date's kind of important uh, depending on where you keep your line stored. Uh, if you're keeping it in the house, constant temperature in the dark, not as big a deal as if you are having it rolling around in the back of your truck, in your boat, or out in your outbuilding where it gets up to 140 degrees in the summer. Uh, light and temperature all have an effect in a small way on fishing line. So uh, I kind of like to know the date. I buy it in these large one pound spools. Uh, reason being, as you can see, there's a lot of little check marks on there. What are we up to like? 24 re-spools on that one at least before I got rid of it. I hadn't been marking it on this one, uh, but I got this one last year. And uh, it's, it's a lot of line. I like the Andy, I like monofilament for abrasion resistance. Uh, this is a relatively hard line uh, in that it's, uh, it's hard to bite into when you try dragging a fingernail or something down and it's hard to get any kind of bite into it. 
Uh, the stretch is minimal. There is always stretch with monofilament line. It is one of the forgiving aspects of the line, especially when you have fish on a short leash next to the boat. There's a little extra forgiveness there to go with whatever forgiveness you have in your rod tip. And uh, the rest of it is up to you as an angler to make sure that it doesn't break off. By all my measurements, a line with not much memory. I don't know how much of that you can see there, but that is it coming off of the spool. This has not been hanging. This is coming off of the spool. And you can see there's not a whole lot of curly cue to it. It casts wonderfully. And uh, in my opinion, it's a great line. I prefer monofilament for the abrasion resistance more than anything. I like the yellow. Uh, I like the color. Uh, just for visibility, a lot of times I am drifting, dragging, and trolling. I like to see very quickly where my lines are. They make this in some other colors. Uh, I got to fish with Jeff Manning a few weeks ago. And he had some of this same line, the Monster, in blue. And uh, during certain light conditions, it was a lot more visible than this was. You're in other light conditions, not so much. I like this all around. Uh, it's my choice just for the color. Uh, I prefer it over braid for one simple reason is that braid has some advantages in that there's virtually no stretch to it. Uh, and I do use it on my spinning reels when I am fishing for uh, crappy, uh, fishing for perch, fishing for skipjack, anything uh, where I've got a feel a bite and get a quick instant hook set, I think braid is superior there. I do not like it for catfish, mainly because of some of the stuff that we fish around and fish into, whether it be rock piles, trees, brush piles, that kind of thing. Uh, braid, once you fray a fiber, it loses its strength uh, at a very rapid rate uh, because of all of those little fibers are so much stronger bound as one as they are individually that once you break one, it goes downhill very quickly. And I've been a lot of tests and a lot of studies that have shown the abrasion resistance on monofilament is superior to braid. Now, one of the things I will say is that even monofilaments are all a little bit different. One of the ones that I've tried before is Slime Line. Uh, it's uh, one that looks very similar uh, to the uh, Andy line. It's, uh, you know, comes in a variety of different weights. Uh, this is some of the heavier stuff. Uh, one of the disadvantages I saw to this line uh, that I like better uh, with the Andy line was this line had a lot of stretch in my test. I did some tests with it. And uh, stretch is a double-edged sword when it comes to catching catfish. It can help you. Uh, it can benefit you. But if it stretches too much, you're pulling a line thinner and thinner and thinner. And that becomes a concern to me. Uh, if you have the ability and the money to re-spool every time you put a mega load onto a line, then go for it. It's a very good way to be safe and have a lot of forgiveness and get away with a lot. Me personally, I like more reasonable stretch. I like using and maximizing my drag and uh, knowing where it's gonna stretch and not putting it to the breaking points. Now, one of the lines that impressed me was this P line. Uh, it's the Evolution. Uh, it's a copolymer. This was sent to me by uh, J.R. Cochran at New School Fishing. He sent me this a while back to test out. I finally tried it out for a while. Uh, and it has some of the similar properties to Andy line uh, as far as the uh, lack of memory, its castability, uh, and uh, it was pretty decent line. I didn't use a lot of it. I didn't like the color of it. This, uh, this color was something I was not really happy with, uh, but that's just me personally. For a lot of people, they like this. A lot of people are visibility conscious and uh, you know they, they like it. For me, I like the high vis yellow, but this is another one that, I, again, I say, there's a lot of good lines out there that will all catch fish. On some of these, you just have to play around a little bit and experiment. Sometimes it may behoove you to get a smaller spool of line instead of buying one of these one pound spools or two pound spools. Get your quarter pound spool, try it out, spool up maybe one or two reels, uh, mark them, take a little piece of uh, masking tape, put it on the bottom of your rod, write what kind of line it is, put some different lines if you're fishing uh, a couple of different rods, uh, a couple of different reels, Try them out and see what works for you and your style of fishing because it will vary depending on where you're at in the country and how you fish. And hey, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Love having you here. I love to wear a microphone sometimes too. And I need to put that on so you can hear me. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn and I'm happy to be here. Where was I? Chair needs wheels. Give me wheels. Production. I don't have any help. 
Hey folks, I'm <laughs> Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. They want to hit the bell so they'll be notified so you can come watch all the videos. Where was I going with that? Uh... Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. That's all folks. Well folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.